Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Monday. It's the last week of July. I believe it's the 27th today. Just assume that's correct. Uh, yeah. 27th or 26th. Let's see. What is it? 27th, yeah. Dollars getting hit overnight on a sort of quiet risk on ish type of trade. Looks like we're going to get our close below 106 in dollar yen. The low's been 44. Um, trading now at 60. Looking for a rangy day um, with some mild risk on. Um, I guess we're all waiting for this um, GOP proposal to see if we can get some more stimulus. And the trend for dollar lower, I think, is just going to continue here. Uh, why, why wouldn't it gold up to 1937 uh, today? So it's pretty straightforward. Dollar sells against everything. Um, Euro, it's a lot of... A lot of green bars there now. Closed at 55, which was also a surprise the last hour. We squeezed up. 41 the low, 25 the high, 117.25. Surely some um, some knockouts and some barriers at uh, 117. Very low liquidity this time of year. Um, so this stuff gets taken out and stops a run and dealers have to chase stuff, algos have to chase stuff, so not surprising. Uh, 117.28 the high. If you're not short dollars already, uh, you just have to sit tight. We've now gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days in a row. I would say look for sort of a consolidative uh, day today. Um, absolutely nothing to do on the tactical and the tactical day book at 117 cable um, follow the same script opened at 90 up through 13 was sort of interesting uh, can you be long cable probably a little bit bumpier obviously uh, than euro um, this 13 high this was the June high 2813 um, interesting right a lot of clear air up here but it is cable right so it probably will go 85 given at some point um, tough tough monkey put in a cage that one um, dollar Swiss same thing as euro bang 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 uh, dollar Swiss has been pretty straightforward now for basically seven months since uh, we we traded up at parity really which was uh, kind of Christmas time 900 points lower pretty straightforward I guess well I guess the March 9185s and then the balance made it less straightforward, but we're through those we're, we're through those March lows. Um, but again, if you're not short dollar Swiss now, uh, don't hit a bid at ninety one seventy five. Dollar yen, if you're not short, you can probably start thinking about getting a short because you really the the con the conviction short is a daily close about below one oh six. We did not get that Friday. Uh, we're dicking around just above one oh six just to screw some people uh, at the end of the day. Today, it looks like we're going to get that core short dollar yen. Um, looks to be the way. We're looking for a move down to down to 101. So uh, let's see how that plays out. Euro yen not doing much. Sterling yen. Uh, these crosses aren't really in play. Is dollar yen gonna gonna follow suit? So far, it has not. Um, we have all those double bottoms we talked about uh, last week. We got this 1634. We got dollar max somewhere. 
um, what's going to happen with EM? I don't know. Uh, if you're uncomfortable being long this stuff, which I am, you can just break trade it, keep it tight, try and get yourself an average. Um, I'm still not convinced and I'm worried now that this uh, stimulus is going to be baked in by the time they pass it and we'll get by the rumor sell the fact on it so it's I'm a little bit cautious here um, guns definitely down there are no chips uh, in the center of the table here as far as new trades are concerned um, looks like we'll be sitting waiting and watching this morning certainly for the first couple hours I think we have IFO, which may be interesting, may not be. Crude has not really bounced. Um, we did bearish and golf two days ago, remember? But the price action through the lows was like hot glass in your eye or in your ass, whatever. Whatever is at least comfortable for you. Um, you know, bang through. First time through, down to 73, oops, 66 bid, boom, 66 offered below, bang. It's like Wiley Coyote. I'm bearish, uh, but no position. I'll be bearish until um, we break this 42.31, so trying to find a good place to get short but also trying to avoid crude same way you know you avoid a proctologist sometimes it's good for you but uh, most of the time it's just a pain in the ass what else we got out there dollar cad doing its thing little bit of resistance it's resistant to go a little bit lower here, a little bit slower on the go, but still offered. Um, we all remember 133.53 from last week, but the real important point is 133.16. Uh, this would have to be really risk on, I think really crude higher, but below 133.16 is, is very interesting. It's a long-term pivot, um, and for me it signals that we could we could go back a lot lower you know kind of down to 122 and that's like your we have a virus vaccine trade dollar gets smoked continues to get smoked um, and it's risk on and hooray hooray COVID is dead that's an interesting trade if that happens it seems a little bit unlikely uh, at the moment but we always have to look both ways, right? No, no point in being poly pessimist, fully poly pessimist. You can be Peter positivity if you need to be. Kiwi teasing it up here. Looked pretty offered on Friday. Now we're percent higher. Uh, if you don't own Kiwi, you do nothing here. If you do own it, just sit with it, right? Looks like we're gonna, we're probably gonna take a take a stab at 67.55. Spoo's 92 low, which kind of makes this sort of interesting. This 3190 level, are we going to get another few days of sideways, a little bit of ups, a little bit, a little bit of downs, and have this little head and shoulders neckline here at 3190? Uh, could happen. Have to see. It's sort of a beginning of a very interesting sort of formation there. Let's look at NQ just because for the youngsters out there you guys love this shit on its knees NQ is broken she's fallen she can't get up yeah not doing too much up uh, half percent but really really far now from um our little double top clown Pennywise from Stephen King's It. For those of you who are millennials who don't read books, you probably didn't even see the movie. It was over so long, so long ago. Read 
the book It by Stephen King. I don't even know who Stephen King is. Um, anyway, scare the living Christ out of you. What an excellent book. Read it. That's my big recommendation for today. Read it if you haven't read it. As far as trading goes, uh, we're in watch mode here at the beginning of the day. Uh, we're going to see if cable takes a little tour lower and try and buy some uh, carefully. And otherwise, no really great levels. A fair bit of action in Asia last night, which is never great on a Monday uh, for European traders. I do want to mention this. Uh, this is mimicking the S&P chart. This is Euro Norway. Neckline is 75. There'll be some money to be made. 31.90 in stocks, 10.75 in Euro Norway. Put it in your book. There's money to be made at both of these levels uh, for bears and bulls, depending on how you want to trade it. Um, very, very interesting levels. Oh yeah, Bitcoin, little slut. She's on the move. Bitcoin. 10,200, 10,500 is, is, is important. Lots of clear air. Bitcoin on the move, on a little bullish, um, questioning fiat currency sort of story. Anyway, I've said enough. Um, not much to do right here at the open. My advice is to be patient. Some shit will come up. It always does, as you know. Uh, and patience is the trade at the open. Have a good day, people. Talk to you tomorrow.